Hello, and welcome to this quick demo showing how Rubrics Radar and ServiceNow's Security Incident Response application can help you gain visibility to ransomware threats and help speed the time to recovery. Rubric Radar uses backups taken by Rubric of your data and analyzes the deltas using machine learning to determine when there is a data anomaly and then gives you a simple three-step wizard to investigate and recover the data. While this does not replace your threat detection infrastructure, it can help augment it and give you better insights into your storage threat landscape. The ServiceNow Security Incident Response application tracks the progress of security incidents from discovery and initial analysis through containment, eradication, and recovery, and into the final post-incident review, knowledge-based article creation, and closure. By leveraging these two products, you can lower your time to recovery and reduce the impact of the threat on your business. Over here, we have ServiceNow's security incident response application. What we're looking at is a dashboard that contains all of the most recent security incidents that need to be looked at, evaluated, and resolved. If we drill into this first incident, we see that rubric detected anomalous file system activity. So let's drill into that. On this particular item, we have a playbook and a whole bunch of information that'll help us in recovering uh, from this threat. So the first thing we're going to do is look over at the playbook and it gives us steps to take. And the first step to take is determining the scope of the data anomaly. So if we click this and open it, we can then begin start working on this task. It provides us information around what we need to be doing and in the description, as well as a knowledge article that we include that describes exactly how to perform the steps in order to complete this particular task. So this task is asking us to determine the scope of the data anomaly. It says that rubric radar has detected an anomaly and asks us to follow the link to investigate further. So let's do that. As we go over to rubric and we follow that link, rubric radar then tells us that there are 1,300 changes, 1,300 deleted items, 252 modified items, and 1,300 suspicious items. Well, we probably want to investigate the deleted and the suspicious items, so let's just filter on deleted and suspicious. If we drill into the file system, we can see that under the file set shares, there are uh, the majority of the suspicious and deleted items. So we can click into that, and we can see that it's affecting many of the department's folders. So if we drill into the finance department, we can see that the old Excel spreadsheet here, uh, as well as some other files, are being deleted while encrypted versions are being created of them. That seems like there may be a ransomware attack happening uh, in your storage. And the snapshots, the differences in the snapshots from the backups have detected this. So after we've looked at this, we'll go back to our security incident response task, and we will mark this task as completed because we have determined the scope of the data anomaly. We can add work notes to this particular task. It looks like ransomware. And then we'll mark it as completed. Now in the incident response tab, you can see that there are other pieces of information like configuration item, category of potentially affected users, secure, similar security incidents with similar observables and configuration items, threat lookup results, and also work notes. So as you can see, when I posted that information under the analysis step, it came over as work notes. We can also see in the incident timeline um, that that information is then posted here from every step that I take. The next question is, is this activity normal and or expected behavior? No, it does not appear to be normal or expected behavior. So we'll hit the submit button. 
And what that will do is that we'll move on to the next playbook step uh, and allow us to, to find the steps to recover and, and help us reduce uh, the threat. If we take a look at the Explore tab, we also see there are some observables. This is where we can understand what, fi what file systems, what uh, servers, what people are affected, and gives us more information. As you can see, the next step in our playbook has, has arrived, and it's time to recover the files. So again, there are work notes and knowledge articles. These knowledge articles give you information about how to, how to restore or recover files. So we'll start this task, and then we'll go back over to Rubric Radar. And we could click on each individual one and restore each individual file, or we could drill back up into file shares and click on each one of these department folders after we've investigated each one. Click on next and you can see that there are various options. We can do an in-place recovery, download those files, or restore them to a separate folder. We'll provide credentials here in order to do that restoration. So assuming we've done that restoration, we will mark this item as complete. And there will be another playbook task that comes through that we will wait for that will ask us to review and validate that we have indeed fixed, fixed the issue. And once that's completed, the security incident response then has questionnaires for the security incident analyst to validate and to report back on why this happened and looking for additional uh, root cause information as well as um, all of the knowledge articles that may be helpful in the future to resolve some of these issues had this issue not been uh, seen before. So if we click this, it asks us to validate the files were successfully recovered. We'll say, yes, the files were successfully recovered. And then that opens up a new area where we can close the incident there are assessments of that security incident analyst. We can place our closure information here as to what was done. And then the task assessment around what was done, how well it was performed and additional and what the impact of the threat was to the overall business will be attained, obtained in that task assessment. Thank you very much for watching our demo and we hope to hear from you soon. Feel free to reach out to your local rubric account manager or to a worldwide technology account manager for more information. Thank you.